Welcome back to Hammer. Oh man, listen to that buzzing. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> That's what you get when you hook up old consoles to uh, new TV sets. You going to talk? For you, uh, for you <laughs> purists at home who are wondering, I've got a uh, Genesis 3 is the model I'm using for this particular playthrough. Uh, it's smaller, it's more reliable, you know. And plus, and plus, I don't have <laughs> AV cords for my Genesis 1, and I don't feel like digging out my Genesis 2. I got a clone console, too, but, you know, I'd hate when people go like, oh, this, yeah, the sound is really just awful on clone we consoles. Try to separate the anxiety. Oh, man, what did I say? Big, giant, falling portraits. It only had Shredder's face on it instead of Pizza Hut. Yeah, go ahead. So yeah, the plank, the little plank traps are there still. So you know, the same but different. Also, look at the background going on here. I don't know. That's pretty cool. And we're slowly approaching, you know, land. Whoops. <laughs> Good job. Mm. That one caught me in the face. Yeah. Ugh. Ninja Turtles. Come on. You can count on... I'm not singing that. Oh. Gotta, gotta get a gift. Gotta get a gift for Splinter. You know, at least... You know, you know... The live-action movie. The Michael Bay one. You know... The, you know, oh, we gotta make that Christmas rap album. Ha, ha, ha. You know? Making references to some of the worst of Ninja Turtles. And if you've never seen Arrested Development, like, Vernon Fenwick was just gob from, from Arrested Development. And I thought yeah, that was... you know what? I couldn't think of anyone else besides Will Arnett who could, who could play Vernon. Yeah, I hate to say this, but when they announced that, like, oh, the character of Vernon is gonna be in the Turtles movie, we're like, oh, this is gonna be terrible. But who ended up being the best character in the movie? Yeah, Will Arnett. Yep. I'm still, I'm still not quite um, caught on Whoopi Goldberg playing Vern Thompson, though. <laughs> Why the heck not? If Perry White, if, you know, if Lawrence Fishburne can be Perry White, yeah, I'm totally, I'm fine with it. Yeah, but nobody I mean, liked, Matt, nobody liked that Superman I mean, movie. Matt, she <laughs> Seamus is rock steady. I thought it was Bebop. No, Seamus is Rocksteady. Who's Bebop? I don't know who Bebop is. But yeah, Seamus, Seamus is playing Rocksteady. And like, why not? And the thing is, it's probably even going to be a better movie, uh, Turtles 2, because we know going into it what it's going to be like. Ah, now. accidentally hit it. You know, sure they get to the foot and it seems like they're fixing, you know, they're even going ahead and fixing a lot of the concerns people had with the first one. Who looks to be the main villain this time around? Shredder. Because Shredder was, yeah, I hate to say it, not really the main villain in the first one. No, he was there, but he wasn't in most of the So it, it seems like to me like they're even fixing some concerns while throwing in more fan service for the... For card fans, the old show. You, you think Michael Bay is actually listening? Michael Bay is really only producing these films. He's not directing or doing them like he is with Transformers. Is that why the That's, turtle movie's better? That is an important thing to uh, to realize. He's really he's really only just you know producing it. Uh, well, I guess you should take that. Yeah, it's all well, right. You're about you're about close to an extra guy anyway. Yeah. Oh, heading through. Uh, so, guys. so as you see now, we've also tacked the uh, prehistoric Turtlesaurus level on too, with the caves and such. Only without the uh, only without the stampeding dinosaurs. Okay, but time. No, we got stampeding uh, stone warriors. Hmm. Same difference, oh. right? That hurt. Oh, come on. Oh, I got a second. I got a little smack there, too. Okay. <laughs> Alright, come on. Okay, sorry. Oh! Took the Ninja Star in the back. Yeah, huh? uh, yeah. I tried to hit it's him, but... nothing worse than taking a shuriken in the back. I saw him, and I tried to hit him, but he already threw the star at you. <laughs> That's you. Oh. oh. So, there's Seamus. I'm hungry for some toidal soup. 
It's a shameful thing. Too many lies. Too many lies. Too many lies. Where's Bebop? I think, oh. you know, here's the thing. S a Bebop is Sir a not appearing in this game. Why? This is essentially... Is racist? No. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for keeping continuity in check there. Thank you. But yeah, this is probably the first and like only Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game where Rocksteady is in the game and Bebop isn't. Maybe because they just they maybe the Genesis couldn't handle uh, uh, both of them as enemies. Remember, no, when I see you next to time, me. I'll beat you. They you don't know. necessarily have to be together. The famous Rocksteady quote: "When I see you, I'll beat you." Moving on to scene three, Shredder's hideout. That's right, we're already just about to the end of this thing. Hey, you didn't get an extra live after 200. I did not. How come you got one after 100 then? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense, does it? I have no clue. Roadkill Rodney's getting rocked. Foot Soldier's getting pounded. Yeah, it's just a shame, you know, you don't see stuff like uh, Neon Knight Riders in here or anything like that. Yeah. Not even the fancy throwing at the screen things, but you know, Genesis didn't have the Mode 7. Well, I thought it had so, the, uh, you know. I thought it had the, uh, I thought Genesis does when Nintendo. Nope, 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 nope. But what about uh, blast processing? Oh yeah, well you can feel the blast processing all over this thing, right? Just look at that. A lot of orange, roadkill Rodneys. Then getting grown up, we had a Sega. We didn't have a Super. <laughs> no, no, we were we were as we say before Genesis Aladdin. kids, but I, we never I love Aladdin. And, for, and for yet, Sega. and yet, never played Hyperstone Heist. Yeah, I gotta play Aladdin yet. Yeah, this. Oh yeah. Oh, ouch. Actually, oh, I like the fire-breathing robots. I really like to do both versions of Aladdin. Mm. I don't even games were actually decent for this. I don't even know where this level is uh, drawing inspiration from. You yeah, seen anything? Like I've seen this before in games like Double Dragon, levels that look like this, but I have oh, have not seen. You know, maybe even a little bit of uh, that extra level in uh, the NES version of a uh, arcade game. Who knows? Oh, now it is taking my energy. Then don't do it. No, now it isn't. Maybe it only takes it once. Maybe for life. Maybe, but now I'm okay. Weird. Uh, no. Okay. You, you were worried about those Bowsers. They yes. ended up being nothing. Hmm. Donatello Rage. Okay, see. Now you know where the inspiration for this level is. This is like the Genesis version of, uh... Turtles 2, isn't it? Turtles 2, the arcade game, yeah. So again, this is why it's interesting. I mean, yeah, Turtles in Time's a better game, but this is also... It's this is, worth playing. Okay, this isn't a bad game. It's, it it's is a turtle it's, game. It's a yeah. regular turtle game. Oh yeah, it's worth playing. It's just that the other one was... Okay, I'm getting tired of that. <laughs> it's just that the other game was better. I think maybe we've gotten a little bit lucky that there are, for the most part, more... Ah. For the most part, more playable Turtles video games than unplayable. You know? Yeah. Turtles in Time's good. Hyperstone Heist is good. Turtles 2 and 3 and NES are good. Uh, the Super NES version of Tournament Fighters is good. The other two are pretty awful. Should we should we do some Genesis uh some Genesis uh Tournament Fighters in the future? Oh we have to. Do we have the uh, SNES version in our collection? 
I don't believe, I'm not sure we do. I think we do. And Lord knows we don't have the NES yes, version. Yes, we do, we do. We do have the, uh, the uh, Sega version. Okay, and Lord knows we don't have the NES version, because that's a, you know, expensive game. But if somebody wants to get it for us, you, you can. I rented it as a kid, it was terrible. Uh, hey, remember everybody's favorite turtle character, Hothead? But then again, I did say during the, uh, Turtles... Oh, Armageddon. Oh, Armageddon. One thing I liked about the... One thing I liked about Tournament Fighters is that it wasn't just characters from the show, but it was also characters from the toy lines and the Archie comic books, too. The fact they threw in characters like Armageddon. Oh. From the, you know, future Turtles, uh, uh story arc. Crazy stuff like that. That, that was almost a you know, a, a uh, amalgamation of uh, tor uh, Turtle stuff before Ninja Turtle Smash-Up was. Oh, yeah. Well, it was still Ninja Turtle Avengers, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, but it th uh, there were also characters like Ray Filet, who were from the comic books, and yeah, the Ray Filet was uh, action figures. Tatsu. Hey, yeah, let's take a look here. This is freaking Tatsu from the first two live-action Turtles movies. Isn't that interesting? He's even got that sound. Whore. Interesting, and this is of course his one and only video game appearance in all the Turtles canon. Yeah. And like, here he, uh, he is. <laughs> Go. Play. But wait, does it does all of these foot soldiers are robots? Do they still play narc and smoke menthols? Probably. You don't really have to train them because they're freaking robots. You just program them. How does this work? This is a big continuity error. Oh, Donnie. Oh, we almost got Tatsu taken out. Got him. Phew. And now he's all... Is he gonna blow up too? Master! Yeah, okay, that's... Oh, he did blow up! So he was a robot? He was a robot, yes. I guess that was accurate to a uh, tattoo, except for the blowing up and being a robot part. Oh, I, I just got... I just got an extra life at 300. Oh, 300. Scene 4. The Gauntlet. On Hammer Brothers, coming up. Stay tuned.